Welcome to part two of lesson 26. Please make sure you put your heading on. Name, number, date. First and last in cursive. Remember to put the date that you are currently working on this, not necessarily the date I'm writing. And our subject is math. All right, so we are doing division with our area model, but first we're asked to estimate. So estimating for division is different than anything else. We're not rounding. What we need to do is find a compatible number. We do that by listing our multiples of our divisor. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. I'm going to stop there because if I need more, I can list more. 739. I look at the digit in the largest place. That is 7. Is 7 greater than 4? Yes. So that means I just have to look at the 7. Which number in our list is closest to 7? Well, that would be 8. So I'm going to replace the 7 with an 8. And then I have 1, 2 places after. So I need 1, 2 placeholders. So my number that is uh, closest to this, that is compatible, is 800. And I'm going to divide that into groups of 4. Well, I'm just doing the 8 divided by 4 which is 2, and then I have 1, 2 placeholders. That's going to move it over 1, 2 places. 800 divided into groups of 4 is 200 groups. So my estimate is 200. Now 739 went up to 800, so that means this is a high estimation. That means the actual quotient is under 200, but should be pretty close. All right, so now we are going to do our area model. For our division. I'm just going to make one big rectangle right now. I'm going to put 739 here. Don't make it too big because we need room in case we need to take more groups out. And I'm dividing it into groups of four or four equal groups. I'm going to take a large group of fours out. So I'm going to use a number that's easy to multiply by, but will give me a large group. So I'm going to multiply by 100, and I get 400. 100 times 4 is 400. I'm going to subtract that out because division is repeated subtraction. 9 take, I'm sorry, more on top, no need to stop. More on top, no need to stop. More on top, no need to stop. We always want to check for regrouping before we start subtracting. I get 339. I can definitely take groups of 4 out of that. So I'm going to put a line here. And that 339 is now going to go up here. And I'm going to go ahead and multiply by 50, because I'm pretty good at multiplying by my 5s. And then this just moves it over a place. So I'm going to move it over a place. 5 times 4 is 20. More on top, no need to stop. More on top, no need to stop. More on top, no need to stop. I subtract. I can definitely take groups of four out of that, so I'm going to bring that up here. And let's see, I'm going to try 30, because this looks like it's close to 12. And I know that 3 times 4 is 12. My placeholder moves it over a place. 3 times 4 is 12. 
More on top, no need to stop. More on top, no need to stop. Numbers the same, zeros again. I can take more groups of 4 out of 19. So I'm going to put a line and I'm going to just keep going. And let's see, let's try 4. 4 times 4 is 16. More on top, no need to stop. Numbers the same, zero is the game. Okay, I have three. Can I take a four out of three? No, I don't have enough. So that means I'm done and I have my remainder. So I know my remainder is three, but I need to add together these partial quotients. So 100 plus 50 plus 30 plus four. I get four here. 0 plus 5 plus 3 is 8, and then 1. So I get 184 as my total quotient, and then I have 3 left over, so that's my remainder 3. Now we want to see if it's reasonable. Is that close to my estimate of 200? Yes, and I knew 200 would be higher than the actual quotient. It is higher, and it's pretty close, so it is reasonable. The quotient is 184, remainder 3, and it is reasonable because it is close to my estimate of 200. Okay, let's look at our next one. So here we need to estimate again. We look at our divisor and we're going to list multiples of that to find our compatible number. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. If I need more, I can list more. I'm just going to stop there for now. So we take our dividend. We look at the digit in the largest place, and it's a 1. Is the digit 1 greater than 5? No. If the answer is no, then we look at the first two. If it's yes, we just look at that one. So 11. We need to find a number here that is closest to 11, and that would be 10. So I'm going to replace that 11 with a 10. And then I have one, two places after. So I need one, two placeholders. One, two, three, comma. So I'm going to divide 1,000 into groups of five. I'm going to divide just the 10 by five and then have my placeholders. 10 divided by five is 2, and I have one, two placeholders, moves it over one, two places. So again, my estimate is 200. Now, this time, my answer went, I'm sorry, my dividend went down when I found my compatible number. So that means this estimate's low, and my actual quotient will be higher than 200. But the estimate is 200. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and draw our rectangle for the area of a rectangle. Inside we have 1,165 little units. We're going to divide it into groups of five. So I'm going to take out 
a large group. Now, I was found out that 200 is close, but it's low. So I, when I find a low estimate, that tells me where I should start. I'm going to start with 200. Because 5 times 200, I already know is 1,000. The two placeholders move it over two places. 2 times 5 is 10. If you didn't know that, though, you could just do 100 times 5 and take that large group out. More on top, no need to stop. More on top, no need to stop. More on top, no need to stop. Number's the same. Zero's the game. We got 5, 6, 1. Well, I can take more groups of 5 out of that, so I'm going to bring this up so I can take more groups of 5 out. And let's see, let's go ahead and do 20, because I'm pretty good at multiplying by that. Placeholder moves it over a place. 2 times 5 is 10. 20 nickels makes $1 or 100 cents. More on top, no need to stop. More on top, no need to stop. Number's the same. A zero's a game. I get 65. We're going to bring that up here. Hmm. Let's try a group of 10 fives. 10 times 5 is 50. More on top, no need to stop. More on top, no need to stop. Okay, I can take out more groups of 5 still, so I'm going to bring that over here. If we need to make our rectangle bigger, we always can. But I know that 3 times 5 is 15. Numbers the same, zero is the game. Can't take any groups at a zero, so we are done there. All we have to do is add up our partial quotients. So 200 plus 20 plus 10 plus 3. 3, 3, 2. Is 233 close to 200? Yes, it is reasonable. And I knew 200 would be low. So this is above it, but it is close, so it is reasonable. The quotient is 233, and it is reasonable. because it is close to my estimate of 200. Okay, so now let's do some more practice of dividing using the area model. Thank you for joining me.